when this life is o'er, I'll fly away. celestial shore I'll fly away I'll fly away oh glory I'll fly away in the morning when I die hallelujah by and by I'll fly away When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. That's happy music, and we're happy today. So glad to be able to come to you on this edition of From the Shepherd to the Sheep. And today we have a guest speaker, my protege, Brother Tyler Candy. He's doing a great work for God, and we're so pleased with him and what he's doing for the Lord Jesus. We welcome him today. Brother Tyler. Hello and welcome back to our series this month and From the Shepherd to the Sheep, from my devotions to you. And I hope that you've been encouraged by some of the things we've been talking about from 1 Corinthians chapter 8, Colossians chapter 2. We're going to be hitting Colossians again today. And then uh, next two devotions will be in Philippians and Ephesians to finish off the month. We're so very excited for what the Lord is showing us in the Word of God, what He's shown me, what I've written down, what I've kind of developed a little bit so that I can share it to you and hopefully be an encouragement to you. We are looking today at Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Now, if you remember, last episode we had uh, in this in this series, we were in Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. And we saw how we are to walk in Christ. We have to have the foundation of faith, and we are to be thankful. And that all of that produces a, a sense of thankfulness. Well, we're going to continue on today. And we're going to look at the next verse, Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Join me in our King James Bible. Look up there on the screen. You'll see the verse as well. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. The Bible here says, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Beware, beware of false doctrine, Christian. It is so easy today to be engulfed with some false doctrine that sounds just like what we hear at at church or what we hear on our daily devotions or what we read in the Bible. And it sounds just about right, but there's just this one thing that bothers me. Oh, beware, Christian. Watch out for that. That's false doctrine. There are things that uh, in different circles of Baptist teachings, there are different views on certain things such as resurrection or Lord's Supper or, or any of these small little things. We don't separate uh, fellowship with each other over those things. But if we're talking about something big, something uh, that is a, a big thing in our, in our belief system, let's say baptism or salvation or works or faith and all these other things, if there's something that shows you, oh, this isn't right, this doesn't sound right, if, if you think the Holy Spirit is telling you you ought not to be part of this Bible study or part of this religion or part of this different religious sort of event, then you better listen to the Holy Spirit as he tugs at your heartstrings and he tells you, uh, that's false doctrine. That's false doctrine. You have to be aware. You have to be aware of this false doctrine. You have to be aware of people who will distract you and pull you away from Christ. It doesn't take much. A, a well-meaning Bible study can turn into a sort of, well, how does this Bible verse make you feel? Or what do you think he's actually saying here? Now, there are benefits to Bible studies. Don't get me wrong. We, we do Bible studies and we do events where we look at the Bible and we, we study a certain section of it. But it's all within the context of that verse, the context of that passage. We develop it, we, we light it up, and it's not you bring your own Bible, you bring your own Bible version, and we'll talk about it kind of style as what we have these days. You have to be careful about people who will pull you away from Christ. They will distract you. They will pull you away through their false doctrine. He says, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Spoil you. That means like when the when the kings and the the kingdoms would go and attack a place and they'd spoil that that village or that town they they'd take all of the items away that's what it's saying they'll spoil you they'll take you away through their philosophy through their vain deceit 
You see, there's a lot of things in this uh, society that we live in today that are higher learning. They're ph philanthropic. They're, there's philosophy here. There's psychology here. And there's all of these different aspects of our societies today. All of that takes away from the main thing, which is salvation through the blood of Jesus Christ. All of that takes away from your study and your personal Bible study uh, each and every day, your walk in the, in the Word. Be careful that they don't take you away after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. And that's the key. Is it after Christ? Is what you're learning in this Bible study, if what you're learning in this program, is it of Jesus Christ? Is it through the Word of God? Is, it, is, is the Bible the final authority? Or is it this book that you've bought and you're reading? Or is it this uh, person who says they have degrees and doctorates and all of these accolades and, and they're the final authority? Is it the book that's the final authority? Is it the person that's the final authority? Or is it the Bible that's the final authority? Sir, ma'am, today I want you to think about that. Uh, they, uh, just think about it. What is your final authority? It ought to be the Word of God. And if that Bible study or if that person is talking about things that go against the Bible, then it's false doctrine and you better stay away. You better beware because it will spoil you. It will take you away from Christ. Beware about all of this false doctrine. The Bible talks uh, plenty about people who want to uh, deceive you and take you away from being able to live your victorious life for Christ. And I'm just here to warn you and I'm here to challenge you to think about uh, where are where is your final authority? Is it this person? Is it this book that you're reading? Or is it the Bible? Is it Jesus Christ? The Bible tells us it ought to be Christ. It ought to be the Word of God that is our final authority. And I hope that you'll be able to apply that somewhere in your life or share it with somebody that you know might be attending a Bible study or a, or, or a group or a program or following after some religious events that aren't actually according to the word of God. And, and uh, instead, all they're doing is pulling that person away and distracting them from the things of God. I hope that uh, this will be a challenge to you and you apply in your life. Contend for the faith, Christian. Pray for revival. And may the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for that. What a blessing. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for what we've heard today. Help us now to know for sure that heaven is our home and that we're living in the center of your perfect will. With our heads bowed and eyes closed, if you've never been saved, call upon the name of Jesus right now. He's the only one who can save you. Just pray something like this from your heart to God. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me, and right now I receive him into my heart as my own personal Savior. If you prayed that prayer, won't you let us know? We'd love to rejoice with you and be a help to you. And right now, I want to encourage everyone to keep winning souls and keep on living the Christian life. Father, we thank you for the Christians out there today who've been encouraged and are going to go on for you today. Help them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know, the only way we can live this life for Jesus Christ successfully is by His grace. Join me if you would. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found was blind but now I see God bless you today you are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep daily devotionals this is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge Virginia if you would like to learn more about our ministries you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.